there were quite a few people who requested to see my flower storage and organization. So that's what I'm going to do today. Just give you a little rundown of how I do things in the crafting area. <music> This is where I keep my florals and I keep them out seasonally. So what you see here will look different when I begin my crafting for the fall. But this is what I have out right now for my, hmm, I'm gonna say summer and spring and everyday stuff. So we'll just go in and take a closer look and we'll just start on this side. I have some thrifted, I think that is lavender there. It just says grass, but I believe that's lavender. And then I have some wood shreds down there, some little wood type. They look like unicorn horns to me, but they just came in like a multi-pack and I separated those out. I've got some smaller boxwood wreaths and some felt wreaths there got some random pieces of wispy floral I have some I think some of those are sola they're very very soft sola wood and some more picks um, I have a little bucket there that has some rocks from the driveway I use those in making my florals I have two pieces that were already made up that came from a project that I already did and I haven't tore, haven't broken those down yet and separated them but I usually do that when I'm done with the project and I'm ready to reuse things. I have a basket of ivy and then I just put these over here for now that doesn't actually go with my florals right there. Alright this is um, wood cattails that I just laid there for a little while I'm going to use those with fall decorating I have some berries, some pieces that have been used. I'm going to recycle them. That's the pit berry vine there. I have some cotton, some random leaves, some pieces of picks that have been already clipped off. So I have eucalyptus and I have some boxwood and let's see. Yeah, just some little randomness in there. Back there, I have a floral bundle that I used before that has been all broken apart and it's too short to fit into the rack above it, um, it would fall out. So I just have them rubber band together, sitting there, some little daisies or whatever they are in the back. Just use these little white Dollar Tree bins to hold things that are similar. It makes it easier when I begin to do my projects. Got some lavender back there, some little white flowers that I've already used and taken those apart. Some succulents and randoms in here. I'll tell you where these came from when I'm done. Um, well, we can talk about that. These came out of um, a big bag that also had those little things over there that look like unicorn horns, those spirals, they were in there. These are bouquets that are, that were purchased all together, so they were already in one piece. I haven't broken those apart. I might not. I haven't decided how I'm going to use those yet. And then I have a, just a, a swag here. A magnolia swag that I haven't used. These are some white flowers that I have taken apart and used a few times and they're just all sitting there together in that basket. Over here I have a bunch of the longer picks and I just stand those up in this basket. If they're very tall I bend the bottoms and just set them down in there. I try to put the tallest ones to the back and the shorter ones to the front. These are, um, I don't even know where this one came from, to be honest with you, I can't remember. This may have come from Dollar Tree. If you recognize it, it doesn't have a tag on it, but it may have come from Dollar Tree. And then some longer, bigger pieces back there. These are clippings of some vine that came out of arrangements that I've picked apart. And then I've got some of these smaller pieces and some bigger pieces that don't have backing on them. Here are some pine cones of different sizes. These are um, flower picks that I've went ahead and cut apart. There are some white branches there. 
Uh, you come over here. There is a bouquet that has not been used yet. This is how it looked when I got it. And here are some little pieces that came off of vines in my own yard. And um, they were already brown and I just went and clipped those off of the vines. They look really, really good in arrangements and in uh, tablescapes. I have a double tray here, which I've had for a long time. I have my foam spheres and blocks and cones and things in here. I use these more than one time. As you can see, some of these already have been used. Up above, I have shorter picks. In the bottom, I just have a piece of styrofoam that came out of something I believe came from Amazon. And it's real easy to do this. You just put it in the bottom of whatever bin you want to use and then place your shorter picks down in here. The longer ones I have on the sides and in the back. And then I have shorter ones toward the front so I can see them. It's easy for me to see what is what. And I'm short. I'm only 5'2". So this is about eyeball height for me right here. It's easy for me to get these. You can see underneath they're just picked into that foam. And when I want to use them, I just pull them out. And I have already used these in a project. Okay, so now we're gonna come back around here and we'll start looking at this flower wall. This is a piece of lattice that came from our house. It was on the side. It's like a little room almost on the side of the house where the air conditioner units are and it's behind this and we had to replace some pieces. So I took, had my husband take this piece and just cut it for me so that I could use it for projects and it made the absolute perfect thing for storing my flowers. My daughter actually did this originally for me and then it's been taken apart and organized and several times. It's just held to the wall with some nails up in the top up there with some wire and then down here on the bottom also held in place. It is away from the wall about two inches so that there's room for the picks to go in the back. You don't want these to be flush on the wall because then you won't be able to get your picks back there. You won't be able to get them in so you want room. You can see the shadows in there. That's because there's a gap there. So my youngest daughter decided that it would be pretty if we did this like rainbow. So we tried to color coordinate somewhat. I have some hydrangeas up there and then some blues and purples. I've got some pinks. There's some more hydrangeas over there. We've got some cabbage rose, um, some peonies, some lavender, snapdragons, I think, um, pussy willow, magnolias, these are picks right here that everybody I think will recognize. These come from the Dollar Tree. Um, there's some berries. Some white hydrangeas on the bottom. I think I need to do a hydrangea arrangement. What do you think? And so these are all of our spring, summer, and everyday type flowers. Now, to discuss where I get my flowers. Mine all come from Hobby Lobby, um, Walmart, a bunch of different places, Dollar Tree, but I don't usually get them until they are at Goodwill. So they're usually donations. That's where my Sola flowers came from over there. That's where the ivy came from that's back there, the random pieces, most of the bouquets came from there, um, the picks. I will seasonally buy Dollar Tree things when I see them if it looks like something that is new or something that will fit into a project I have that I don't already have something, you know, like those little I think they're little, those little fuzzy spheres. I really want to get some of those, but the only color they had when I went was blue, and that's not what I was looking for. So as they put more out, I should be able to pick up a couple more things. Y'all excuse my shaky hands. Um, 
yeah so my flowers are from Dollar Tree and Goodwill but I have a lot of flowers that I've picked up that actually have a Michaels or a um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Joanne sign on them you know the little paper tags so and then of course some of the pieces actually came out of my yard I'm not afraid to use pieces right out of the yard and then the of course the these down here they came from Goodwill the cattails that I'll be using so what I recommend if you craft like I do is to try to put your things together either in bundles of like things or bundles of colors whatever makes sense to you um, I like to put my colors together and I like to change my things out it takes a little bit of time to do but I like to change my things out for the holidays I have bins on top of bins on top of bins of thrifted fall and Christmas seasonal type florals and when I change those out for the season I'll share that with you if it's something you're interested in be sure you let me know do you want to see this once I've changed it out for the holidays because it looks a lot different um, the bones of it are still the same you know you're still gonna see the same thing but and I'll keep flowers for years and I'll use them year after year because as far as I'm concerned flowers and florals don't go out of season you know they don't they don't go out of style you can pretty much use them from season to season for years if it's something pretty in that you like so I just hang on to them I put them in a bin close the top off I label them uh, spring floral summer florals what have you and that's what I do and I just change them out so I hope this was helpful to you if you have any questions put that below um, comments I welcome comments if you think that this is helpful and that you'll be taking any of these tips or any of these ideas and doing that for yourself I would love it if you let me know and give me a big thumbs up thank you so much for stopping by and I will see all of you again very very soon